Hello, my name is Henri Asseilé. I uh, was asked very kindly to uh, tell you my story. So it, let's start in 1994. I was uh, very lucky, and luck is a very important thing in entrepreneurship. I would consider that to be about 70% of success in entrepreneurship. 1994, I was doing my MBA at Wharton, started in 94, and the consumer internet had really just took, taken off. And um, I was with a buddy of mine, and we said, look, we, we're not people who can be employed, so let's do something, let's do it on the internet. So by the time we graduated in 96, we used uh, the university, uh, University of Pennsylvania's resources to start doing something. And uh, we started our company and we moved to Los Angeles. When we moved to Los Angeles, um, we said, well, let's start by helping people shop. Because we hate shopping, we hate going to shops. And uh, we said, you know, we, there's a bunch of guys like us who would like to use computers to buy stuff. So they said, we said, okay, let's try to do that. So we built a um, um, rating system called BizRate to uh, tell people where to shop. And ultimately, it turned into a comparison shopping engine and it turned into uh, Shopzilla in, uh, in the 2000s. So we went through three rounds of funding, 98, 99, and 2000. Luckily, again, uh, a month before the crash. We sold our company finally in 2005, this, uh, June 2005, after nine years of work for the nice sum of $569 million. So that was a very successful exit. We're very happy and again, very lucky. Now, why am I telling you this? I'm telling you this because I think that what the 331 Circle is doing right now is that it's giving you the opportunity, it's giving the entrepreneurs and the investors the opportunity to reduce their risk. The, the risk reduction and removal of some of that luck is embedded in the money that is being invested. To make money, you gotta spend money. If you don't spend any money, it's going to take you a long time. It's going to be much riskier to be able to make the money that you need to make. In order to succeed, and in order to sell for $569 million, we raised $77 million. Our first round was four and a half, second round was 22, third one was $51 million that we raised in two weeks, a week before, or a month before the crash. Uh, March 2000 was the crash. And after that, we never raised any money again. We couldn't find any money again. Uh, we, by the time we turned positive in December 2002, the company had two weeks of cash left in the bank. So we actually burnt through $77 million. Now, the, our um, success story is not um, unique. The average successful American company in the ICT space sells for $243 million. It raises $41 million. So it's about 17% of the sale value is the amount of money raised. So when our good friend from Google here came and said, we want to shoot for the moon, I agree with him. We always want to shoot for the moon. When I sold my company, I came back to Lebanon. So I've been here about eight years now. And I've been investing, and I've been doing entrepreneurship, doing a lot of mentoring. I've invested my money in my uh, fa uh, family office's money. We spent, uh, we've invested um, multiple, many millions of dollars in the ecosystem, in a number of companies, some of them you're gonna be hearing about today. And what we are looking for is indeed the shoot for the moon thing. Look for the real big thing. You, have, you need a huge market, and you need to be able to make it worth it. Because as an entrepreneur, you're gonna work a certain amount of time. And you only have a certain number of hours to work in a day, and you're gonna work them anyway. So work them for something that's worth it. Unfortunately, if you wanna shoot for the moon, you need a lot of money. So I'm, again, that's the reason why I'm extremely happy about the 331 circular, and I'd love for it to kind of 
to, to do what it's supposed to do without market distortions, without any of the stuff that everybody before me has been talking about, which is extremely important. So in conclusion, um, do not be afraid of investing $10 million, $15 million in a company. That is not a lot of money. <coughs> to make it very big, that's actually very little money. When we invested $77 million, or we raised $77 million to make $569 million, we actually were, considering the other numbers that I gave you, below budget. To sell for 569 at a 17% uh, money uh, raise rate, we would have raised, we would have needed to raise $95 million. So I'll just leave you with that. Thank you.